All right, guys, I wanted to put this out here just simply because this is plywood and paint. And we've talked about paint before. But this is a little bit unique. We've got 40 of these boxes, and we've all of this is rough plywood edges. There's no banding, there's nothing. This is just plywood, paint, get in, get done. The only thing that really shows on this is the face part. One of the, and if you've ever painted plywood and a, and a rough sawn edge, you understand. You can sand this stuff as smooth as you want, but the minute anything goes on it, particularly a water base anything, that end grain that's in the plywood is just going to swell up and not, I mean, it's just going to get really nasty. The other thing is, despite your best efforts to get plywood that you don't have any voids in, almost impossible. And if you can imagine having to go around and fill every one of these edges, again, that's just, I mean, when you get 40 boxes in here, that's 80 sides, that's 80 tops and bottoms. But in this particular build, not to mention there's a lot of other things go with it and a whole lot of plywood. So how do you deal with something like that? Well, what I did is I cut my parts and I stacked them all together, just a big stack. Then I took some good fella or timber mate, wood fella, mixed it up a little slightly heavier with some water, a little thicker than maybe a mayonnaise would be. And again, I've got this big thing all clamped up and I just simply took a squeegee and squeegee at all the edges. Able to do them all at one time. Um, we'll look up front just in a minute and I'll show you what, what happened when I was done. Once I assembled them, I just simply wiped a little teeny bit on my seams, I'm good. That way when I, then I came back and I sealed them. Now what I used, and I'll show you in a minute, is I used the, the Benz water base primer and I did two coats. Um, it really needs a good overnight dry. Right now, these, these have been sealed. They feel a little bit, they feel like about a 120 to an 80 grit paper. But once it, that's just all the fuzz and everything going on with the plywood. The other thing you can do with a water base, if you happen to run a little spot, is just simply take your finger and work it in the edge. Now, so what's happened to these edges at this moment, they've got a coat of the good fella on it and they've got two coats of primer. We're now ready to scuff them and be done. One of the, we wound up having to cut these side holes in here and that's, that's tough because it, again, it's a hand hold so we want it smooth. So just taking a little finger and take a little bit of the good filler and just quickly give it a wipe. And the next thing you can do is take a damp rag and just wipe around it. And when you scuff sand it, it's just barely touch it and it's slick, it's smooth. Um, one of those things that when you got a mass to do, think about again, ganging all them panels up to get your edges filled. Now, somewhere out here I showed you this Harbor Freight pressure pot. Now, I know you're not going to believe I used this, but I did. This thing was absolutely covered in primer and paint. And I found it was difficult just holding this, but because I didn't have the cut, but being able to get inside of here is just, it's great. But I found if I got a little creative, and I can get in everywhere. But now I want to show you one of my latest discoveries. Guys, what I have here is I have, well by the way, here's the Ben Primer, it's an empty bucket. I have about five gallon of water and to it I added about a quart and a half of crud cutter. K-R-U-D-K-U-T-T-E-R. Huh? 
Well, now, the other thing with the crud cutter, if you've got bits and, and, and table saw blades and all of this stuff for a pitch remover, man, I ain't found anything that works any better. But I just stuck this little gun in here this morning, and it's got dried sealer on it. It hasn't been in here very long, but you can see here. I, I tell you what, I, that, that Harbor Freight thing, I figured, well, you know, no more than it cost. Once I'm done with this, I just pitch it because I mean it was nasty. And I put, I thought, well, you know, I wonder if this stuff will do it. I put it in here, let it soak overnight. You saw it; it came out. Even the hoses, I took the hoses apart. You know that that fluid line, because when you're using a water-based primer or something, it can dry on a hose. I just set it in the bucket, flush the hose out, clean as a whistle, no debris, no issues. It'll do it on a water-based finish as well. Just catch it quick. So what I've been doing, you know, I found when I flush out my guns using water-based that sometimes it still don't flush it all out and even going back using the alcohol. So what I've been doing is I've been flushing them with a little bit of water and a little bit of crud cutter in it. Or just put them in and let them soak. They come out absolutely spotless. Uh, me. Here's one of my old Harbor Freights that, well you can see how long it's been around, the paint's even wore off of it, and this thing was absolutely covered. And we was using these for, in this white, we had a ton of panels, but it came out perfectly clean. Now back to the painting thing, I'm going to get Crystal to get another view here. Now this is a cabinet, and kind of the objective in this is, it wasn't specified, but I wanted the thing, even though it's wood, I kind of wanted it to look like metal, nice and clean. So I have a piece of plywood right here. I have another piece in here, plywood top. All of this is plywood. And I had done, so, um, the good fella on this, I actually sanded it back really well in here and gave a little thin skim coat of Bondo over here where I had my all my joinery, my screws, my staples, you know, I skimmed it with a little bit of Bondo, sanded it, primed it, it looks like metal. Can you get a close up? These little quarter inch panels right here, quarter inch edge on plywood, that's a bear. So here's the way I handled it. Again, you can see the stack. I put them all together and I took it. These are actually going to be an, a vertical divider that goes in these boxes. And I coated all the edges again with a little bit of the filler. So that way when I scuff sand it come, you know, goes perfectly smooth. Now what I'll do is then I'll come back and cross cut them with a really nice fine tooth blade and because I don't have to worry about that edge and slide them in. These all had to be glued so I didn't want any glue, I mean any paint on the edge in here. Now to keep all my little dados in these, which were a ton of them, what I did is I took a little bit of quarter inch, I took some quarter inch scrap and just cut little strips. And I would just stand it in there and that way when I sprayed it, no issue. And it took a little bit of time, but I mean that way I was able to pre-finish, I mean trying to get in here, this had to be pre-finished. All of this is pre-finished and it, it did just fine. I did come back and shoot the outside separate. and. Uh, but that's just kind of a way of looking at it and thinking about it. Try again, try when you got all these edges to do, don't try to do each individual edge. Try to group them together, get them smooth, get out of there. 